Hi Virgos, welcome to Prefer Her Tarot. I love to see that you prefer me. First, I would like to thank you guys for clicking on this video. Of course, if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button for me. And if you guys want to be notified when I upload new videos, go ahead and click the notification bell. So we're about to hop into the sign of Virgo. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. Also, remember to not get caught up in the gen of the cards. We all have masculine and feminine energy. Okay, Virgos, let's get into this reading and see what's going on with you guys. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. I feel like I need to say something else before I get the reading started or whatever, but it's not coming to my head, so let's just get started. What's the overall energy for the sign of Virgo, please? Two of Wands, taking a different approach, creating a new path. Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck, moving away um, from a conflicting situation. At all costs, you had to you had to do something to receive a peace of mind. You're making this happen. You're trying to figure out what's out there. Let's get more. Challenge for Virgo. Two of Cups. Two tools so far. A relationship. So your challenge would be seeing eye to eye with others, having a soulmate connection. Maybe we have the nine of cups at the bottom of the deck. This is self appreciation, self happiness, loving loving yourself first, having enough love to love others. So for some, so for some, your soul in tone within yourself, or you're so focused on yourself, or so focused on doing something new that you may have been you may have been having a hard time connecting with others. Okay, let's get more. For the heart space, what's going on on the matters of the heart for the sign of Virgo? The Ten of Swords. Yeah, feeling backstabbed and betrayed. Closing out a painful cycle. Maybe has something to do with a union. A mother. A mother of someone's child. You're ready to end something. Maybe you're not quite happy with where you're staying. You're moving. You're finding a new place to stay. Let's get more messages. Any blockages to love and success for Virgo? Temperance. Being patient with yourself. Controlling your anger. Sagittarius energy. Balance between the masculine and the feminine energy. Page of Cups. The willingness to love. Okay. Not being afraid to love. This could be a younger Cancer Pisces. Let's move forward. What needs Virgo's attention in this moment? Five of Pentacles. Someone may be feeling left out in the cold by you. Uh, maybe you need to get your finances together. You working on getting your finances back together. With the Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Five of Pentacles, putting in work with the Five and the Three of Pentacles. You're working on something, working on yourself, working on closing out a cycle, working on going towards something new. How is Virgo being seen in this moment? Uh -huh. I have two cards. Ace of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Inspire, having an idea, something that will, it will be an equal give and take. Receiving what you deserve. Helping others to receive what you deserve. Four of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So here are the two cards that came out. Four of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So you're trying to save, but you're also, this is an investing situation. Investing into the right things. Something that could become profitable. Having an idea to invest into something that's going to be profitable. But make it, you having this feeling of maybe not having enough. Or having to have this hope and faith that you will have enough. That it's possible. I need more messages. <laughs> What's the advice for a Virgo? What's the advice for the sign of Virgo? The nine of wands to not give up. To push through. To speak your truth. To move forward. 
from the feelings of rejection and feeling like you don't have enough. Appreciate what you have. Go for what you know. Some of you feel like that you haven't been receiving the appreciation that you deserve. All right, what's the most likely outcome if Virgo follows the advice? What's the most likely outcome if Virgo follows the advice? Taking a break, healing, four of swords, prayer, meditation, going within. So if you don't give up, maybe you'll be going towards being able to take a vacation. Nine of Cups, something that makes you happy. Okay? Clarify the Two of Wands, please. The Page of Cups, taking a different approach on love, dating, your ideas, going at the way you want, being inspired. Um, so maybe someone is wanting to apologize or is coming to apologize to you, change some things. I don't know what that is. We're going to see. Maybe it's a mending of a situation. Clarify the Two of Cups. Six of Wands, being seen, being noticed, being recognized moving forward communication so the challenge so someone's challenge is like i said earlier seeing eye to eye with someone connecting with someone receiving this recognition that you deserve with this person that you, that you feel like you deserve it from communicating someone is deciding to communicate trying someone's being called to reach out to communicate to say something to speak their truth maybe feeling blocked from coming together. This could be you or another person. Let's move forward. Clear about the Ten of Swords. Clear about the Ten of Swords. Clear about the Ten of Swords. I'm hearing like screaming or something in my background. Next door. Maybe some children. They're playing. I don't know. We have the Tower card. Sudden shift. Change. Scorpio energy. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Could be vice versa. But wish fulfillment ten of cups right family home things that bring you that happiness emotional fulfillment five of wands some argument and no competition battle naysayers haters maybe where you thought it was true happiness and love there was a tower moment you felt stabbed in the back and betrayed it's like the energy of i thought it was all love i thought it was all love hmm that someone seeing some type of love vibrational energy with themselves within themselves or another person. Excuse me. Clarify the temperance card. The blockage. Seven of Cups being patient. Have, okay, you could be having options. You have plenty of options or there's some illusions. Needing to see through the illusions. Needing to see clearly. Manifesting, manifesting. You're trying to. The magician card. Manifesting options, manifesting different ways of doing things this is the blockage this is the challenge so being patient with your putting the pause on the uh, options i don't know did you ask me that maybe maybe not <laughs> they all say i plan kids all say i plan but someone's going with their prayer and meditating about something that they want to manifest but they know that there are some changes that need to be done in order for spirit social universe to give you with something like you know you're being watched you know this is something that you have to fix you're being challenged to change some things let's get more clarify the five of pentacles okay this is what needs your focus creating some boundaries we have the seven of wands waiting waiting wondering if you should invest we have the two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck juggling i'm seeing the waiting energy with the five of pentacles and the two of pentacles okay seven of pentacles energy slow motion but for show motion some something is going to take time but be prepared to protect your energy to defend yourself to uh create boundaries or something like that so that you won't won't be in this lack thereof energy this is the how you're being no This is what needs your attention, right? Maybe, okay, so with the temperance card being a blockage, maybe some of you guys may be overly defensive, and then you push people away, and then you end up feeling like you're left out. So clarify the Ace of Wands, Six of Pentacles combination for how Virgo is being seen. Change, fortunate changes, will of fortune. Having ideas to bring in some change and fortunate events into your life. 
equal give and take, reciprocity, five of wands. You know there may be a battle here, but I feel like you're prepared. You've been working at it. You're not giving up. You're focused. You're learning. <sighs> learning how to defeat this devilish energy or something because I'm still seeing that devil. Clarify the nine of wands. Nine of Cups. Don't give up on your true happiness. Don't give up on what your soul calling. Don't give up on, on what's going to make you happy. Look at that. Spirit Soul Universe is telling you to do this. It's calling you to do to do something. If you're going through a teaching and learning experience. Like it. Clarify the Four of Swords. Like, um, some of you guys are becoming more spiritual. More spiritually aware. We have the World Card. Clarifying the, sword, the Four of Swords. Closing out the cycle. Taking a break. Maybe you guys are traveling somewhere. To receive a peace of mind. We have the Ten of Cups. Wish fulfillment here. Receiving some truth about that energy. Ten of Cups. Clarify the Tower. Why is the Tower card here? The Eight of Cups. Oh, yeah, you ready to walk away. Seeing through the illusions of some BS or something. Loving yourself first. Creating something here. Taking control of your life. Someone's thinking about a union or coming together. But I definitely see walking away. A terrible moment that made you want to walk away. That made you want to leave. Someone has left. Moving forward. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? That's not the Wheel of Fortune. The Fool, ready to take a leap of faith. So it's something that's going to make you real fortunate. Okay? I like it. I love it. King of Pentacles. There you go at the bottom of the deck. Look at that. The higher thing right behind that. Like, I got you. Let's just do this. Let's get grounded. Let's get stable. Let's get committed. Let's get loyal. Clarify the world. Queen of Swords, being clear, being logical, making plans, speaking your truth, wanting one the truth and nothing but the truth, speaking truth about your happiness and what's going to make you happy. Clarify the fool. Maybe, I don't know what, who's this for, but someone's taking some time off before going around to different places and speaking to those, like someone that is a public speaker whatever we have the lowest card here clarifying the full that union energy that soulmate connection look the four of wands underneath there marriage something to celebrate that union energy foundation stability home making choices with the lovers card like i said it could be that um lovers energy connection soulmate relationships someone's ready to take a leap of faith towards a relationship Now see the divine feminine behind the, the four of wands. Why is the lover's card here? There you go. The hermit. Her, you may be falling in love. Someone may be falling in love with you. Someone is preparing themselves to get grounded. Someone's made, making better choices and decisions after going with the prayer and meditation, seeking guidance and God's source. Clarify the hermit. Yes, taking your time. Slow motion, but for show sure motion. There you are with the Knight of Pentacles. You are inspired to do something, to, to get out of a situation, to, to uh, build something, to create something, to manifest something here, to go towards something new, to get out of a conflicting situation, to be independent. So, yeah, that's what I'm receiving there. I'm going to get an Oracle card. From one of these decks, and then we're gonna get up out of here. I hate native spirit. Let's see what comes out of this deck. Message for the sign of Virgo. Message for the sign of Virgo, please. Like you're just going after your dreams, going after some changes, going after some fortunate changes. Like I said, something that's going to make you better. Healing old wounds. Messages for the sign of Virgo. We have walking in beauty. Bottom of the deck, vision quest. So. Walking in beauty. I'm going to read them both because they're right behind each other. 
excuse me, radiant beauty surrounds you. You're beautiful inside and out. No matter what your age, your grace is growing, being in balance. As you walk in beauty, you feel gratitude for it. You like your life will be fulfilled with immense splendor. Whenever you can, spend time in natural wild spaces. As you see and hear, as you see and hear and feel beauty around you, your own beauty will grow. Your native spirit wants you to know. In Native American traditions, there's the concept of walking beauty, walking in beauty. It's called Hozaho Nasha. In the Navajo Dene tradition. And it means being in balance with the natural way of life. When you are in the right relationship with the, with the natural world around us, we are walking in beauty. The more you sense and see beauty around you and your environment, yourself and your body, the more it is, you know, the more it will fill your life in all forms. Never say anything about yourself or your body that's negative. Don't put down yourself or others. Instead, affirm beauty and take time to adorn your body and personal space. Walk in nature and inhale the beauty of every part of our wonderful planet. Cherish yourself and the luminance within you, and you will glow. Excuse me, Virgo. I had a right before your reading. <laughs> the journey. Create outer harmony in your home environment, even in small ways such as a vase of flowers, a scented candle, or clean windows. And your inner grace and radiance will begin to shine even more brightly. Wherever you go, look for beauty in your surroundings. And as a result, the world will become more beautiful. Okay? So, vision quest. Sacred secret. Take time away from people and situations. Step back. Withdraw. Inner truth is emerging it's in stillness. Let me go back. And the truth is emerging in stillness, but first you need to retreat. Know that you're guided. Look for your answers in different ways. The answers are around you. Watch for signs in the coming day. Trust that your life is being directed. Your native, sp native spirit wants you to know. In earth-based cultures, larger questions about life are often answered on vision quests or solo retreats in nature. Questions such as, who am I? What am I meant to do with my life? And what and what is my mission and my life purpose? And my purpose in life? Same thing. <laughs> we are often answered on quests of various kinds. Even if you don't have burning questions, when this card chooses you, it's telling you to take time away from ordinary life. Yeah. Well, so what's time card? Take time to explore the depths of your soul. Your soul knows the truth. Take time to quietude and quietude to discover what it is. The answers to your questions are all around you, but you must be still to hear these messages. The journey, spend time alone, preferably in nature, without your cell phone and the internet, and even without pencil or paper. Pencil, pencil paper or a book. Be still. No, simply be. Listen to the world around you. Be still. Watch for signs. Open your heart to be re to receive messages from the divine Virgo. That was your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if it resonated, how it resonated. Leave a like, share, all of that good stuff. I love y'all. Love y'all. Love you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.